Okay, what's up sports buddies? I'm Neil Bravo and today we're going to review our episode on the Davao's top 5 basketball players of all time. And we're just pretty glad that we have lots of comments from our YouTube watchers out there. Especially the basketball fanatics from Davao. And we'd like to thank you for coming up with your reactions on this particular episode of Let's Get It On with Neil Bravo. Okay, again, in this episode, we're going to review your comments on the Davao's top five basketball players of all time as made by our five posters, namely Vito Orculio, Glenn Escandor, Moses Villacura, John Develos, and Coach Ice Gravador. And I also made my own picks on that particular video. And by the way, shout out to all those who viewed this video. We got um, we're closing in on 2,000. It's actually 1,979 at the moment. Thank you so much. I am not a real big um, YouTube sensation, but I'm so happy I got closing in to 2,000 views. Thank you so much for patronizing this channel. As again, if you are new to this channel, please don't forget to click like, subscribe, and hit that bell button for notifications. Okay, let's put that out of the way and let's go back to our review on this particular video, this particular episode on Davos Top 5 Basketball Players of All Time. And I'm going to start off with a comment coming from Courtney Sintos. Okay, scrolling down. All right, here's Courtney Sintos. She says, um, oh, she mentioned Sarmiento team. Okay, by the way, that team is a solid um, Davao City basketball team way back in the 70s and 80s and if you were a basketball fan during that time you would know that um, Sarmiento team is the team to beat in every basketball league there ever is in Davao City and I think um, the fiercest rival that Sarmiento has is um, Valderrama team and then I don't know if uh, they are contemporaries but the, those are the teams Sarmiento and Valderrama, these are the fiercest teams of that particular era in Dava basketball. And then came Marsman, they, they can, then came um, Felcris um, before the recent teams like uh, Gold Star, the Royal Mandia Hotel. These are particularly new teams, but um, way back there was a Sarmiento team. And I agree with you, Courtney Sintos, that team is loaded with talents, mostly legends. And uh, they are worth mentioning as um, the best team in Davao City. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then you got uh, Yudo Potolin and he says Kanyamo. Okay. I think he's referring to uh, Bert Kanyamo. He used to play with uh, Toyota in the PBA and is a teammate of the big J. Sonny Jaworski. And he also played with Baro and Utex uh, Wranglers, I think. Um, Utex and Toyota, they, these teams are among the pioneer teams of the PBA way back when the PBA opened in 1975. All right, thanks so much, Yudo Potolin. And then we got Raymond Arayan, and he says, uh, or he mentioned Mr. Quadruple Double Don Bel Belano. Yeah, I do agree with you. Don Bel Belano is worth mentioning in everyone's list as uh, greatest basketball players. That Davao has ever produced. We're actually coming up, or we came up um, with a separate feature on Felix Donbel Bellano, the Mr. Quadruple Double of the Philippines. And please do watch that in another uh, video in this channel entitled Dava Dribble, Mr. Quadruple, Meet Mr. Quadruple Double, Felix Donbel Bellano. It's worth watching. Okay. And then we have Lito Lagmai saying Cho Season. Yep, I think Cho Season is one of the players mentioned by Vito Orculio as his particular choices. And uh, Cho Season became 1981 PBA Rookie of the Year. Uh, another uh, great Tabuwenya player. All right, so we move on and we got uh, some more comments here. Okay. I just moving down, scrolling down in this, this comment section. Uh, Zaldi Nemenzo, uh, Zaldi boy, how are you? 
he mention, mentions John Ferriols. All right, yeah, I think uh, John Ferriols is uh, prominently mentioned in the list of our pollsters, yeah, uh, along with PJ Simon and Alvin Tang, I think, uh, and uh, Francisco Rabat, uh, the Olympian. I think they are they have been prominently mentioned in the list. Okay, and who else do we got? All right, um, we have from from Big Don TV. His choices are Don Bel Belano, Nolly Banate, Scotty Thompson, J. Ramirez, Willie Tanduyan, and Ray Suerte. That's, that's a pretty good choice there. Yeah, um, Don Bel Belano, Mr. Quadruple Double. You got Nolly Banate, who played for um, Chris Pine Greatest Coffee. I think Nolly was um, in two of the posters list. I think with Vito Orculio and with, um, I think he's also in the list of uh, Moses Bilyakura, I guess. If I'm not mistaken, and then you have uh, Scotty Thompson. Okay, he's still an active player and could be among the greatest double winning players ever to have played in the PBA. And he's um, he's still with uh, Barangay Ginebra, and uh, yeah, uh, Scotty Thompson is really a very good player, speedster, um, a very good point guard. And then you have Jay Ramirez who played for. Shell Turbo Chargers, a hard-nosed defender. I think he was mentioned in one of the choices of uh, Moses Villacura. And we have Willie Tanduyan also in, in the list of Moses Villacura. And then you got Ray Suerte, who is a native of Mako Davao de Oro, uh, the, same, the same hometown of uh, Felix Don Belbelano. And actually, these two has some sort of connection. Um, Ray Suerte, before he, he was selected by the University of the East or was picked by the University of the East in a one-and-done contract in the UAAP before he turned pro, joined the draft last year. Uh, Ray Suerte played for University of Mindanao in Davao City under coach Roderick Conda. And Roderick Conda and uh, Don Belbelano were teammates before uh, in the Davao Regional Athletic Association, Davao uh, uh, team that played in the Palarong Pambansa. So coach Don Bell, who was then coaching University of Visayas Green Lancers in Cebu, asked coach Konda if he can have this boy, uh, his townmate, Ray Suerte. And um, that started the fortune rolling for Ray Suerte. Suerte nga. So uh, Ray Suerte went to University of the Visayas, played there, and then... Um, he was picked by UE in the UAAP, and then that's it. Um, his fortunes are really, really um, doing well right now. So uh, we're looking ahead for a great PBA career for Ray Suerte. All right, so that leads us to some more comments. Here we got the choices of, um, we got Castil Jonas. He has John Ferriols, Peter Jun Simon, Alvin Tang, Felix Bellano, Abit Gutierrez, Jerome Tang. Jerome Tang is the son of Alvin Tang. Not necessarily born in Davo, but his father is a Davo Wenyu. So by affiliation, um, by affinity, uh, you got a Davo Wenyu blood in Jerome Tang. And then there's uh, Ray Perez, who is in the list of uh, Bito Orculio. He, plays for, he played for Ginebra San Miguel in the PBA. And uh, resides, in, he's, a, he's a Tagumenio. And then he's got Jay Ramirez again and Noli Banate. And we got, who else? We got Bobby Valderosa who asked, um, he says, Daghan kayo ukulang ang uban dili dava born. Okay, uh, we have answered that concern. Um, yes, uh, the, the poll was made by or was picked by five pollsters so uh, it depends on their particular per uh, perception of things of greatness how they measure greatness so we have five people uh, picking their own choices and we respect that and we also respect your choices and yes we have also clarified that some players are not necessarily born in Davao but uh, lived in Davao resided in Davao or started their 
uh, basketball careers in Davao. Okay, and then we have Eric Bombillo saying Scotty Thompson, bakit wala sa list? Okay, as we have said, um, these are the picks of five posters and we do believe Scotty Thompson is still bound for greatness. He deserves to be in anybody's list. He's a very good player. I agree with you. That's awesome remarks there. And then you have E.V. Nash saying Romeo Ang of Kapalong Davao del Norte. He played in the PBA for Shell Turbo Chargers. Yes, we remember Romeo Ang. He's a good rebounder. Um, he's a good re uh, defender, shot block artist. Yes, um, yeah, he, he deserves to be in the list. And then you got he also mentioned Ray Suerte and then Alvin Pasaol. Of course, uh, we, we've mentioned Alvin Pasaol in the picks of Coach Ice Gravador. Played for UE Red Warriors and once scored 51 points in a game. Now he's a member of the Gilas Filipinas 3-on-3 three -three team. And then um, Evie Nash mentioned Scotty Thompson, which again, for the second time, I agree with you. Uh, he deserves to be up there with the greatest. And then we got Melchor Monteverde saying, uh, or Michael Monteverde saying, Alvin Tang, John Pinto. John Pinto is in the list of Coach Ice Gravador. Alvin Tang, a prominent um, pick in that list too. We got John Ferriols, who is also uh, a prominent pick in the pollsters list. And then you got Cadel Mosqueda and Jomer Ruby. Oh, back to Cadel Mosqueda. He's a... He's another great player, played center in the PBA and is now doing basketball clinics for kids and young players, those who aspire to become good players and hopefully basketball professionals. And shout out to uh, Coach Cadel Mosqueda. And then we have, okay, we're back there. Uh, I've, I've mentioned Lito Lagmay saying Cho season and then Don Belbelano for Raymond uh, Arayan. Okay, and that's it. Uh, those are the comments of our um, YouTube watchers. So keep the comments coming. Uh, don't forget to place your comments in the comment section below of that particular video. And also, you could also drop the, those comments in this particular review of that video. Okay, so that's our video on the top five basketball players of all time. As reviewed and picked by five pollsters and now it's your turn to give your own picks and i have um made made that um made your your picks here i've given your your picks so that everyone knows that you also have this these players who deserve to be in the list and thank you so much for participating in this poll all right, so that winds up our review on this particular video. So do watch out for our feature on Felix Don Bel Belano, and hopefully we'll get we'll add in more players in in the double dribble feature. So do watch out for that. So in the meantime, we're gonna take a break, and that's it. Thank you so much for watching. This has been your sports body, Neil Bravo, and so goes another edition. Of Let's Get It On with Neil Bravo. Thanks so much for watching. Let's get it on. Let's get it on with Neil Bravo. With Neil. Neil Bravo. All the latest sports news, scores, and more. Let's get it on. Sports news from the nation's top sports figure and personality. Let's get it on. With that Sports News Authority, Neil Bravo. Let's get it on with Neil.